fucking carnival shit. That's, that's for fucking sure. sure. <laughs> that's, that's the fucking Walmart of the season. That motherfucker. Like, no, we're not paying the bill. We fucking, we're driving the fuck away. It's good. I, 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 we learned a lot about Dutch tonight. Now I know why you know all the porn chicks, because you're married, Dutch. That's good. Yeah, now we get it. We get it. All, all the single people are like, nah, I don't know. We married people are like, yeah, we fucking know. We know who they are. That's good. You guys are ready for next comic, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Very, very funny, dude. Give it up for Mr. Dutch Martin, everybody. You know, uh, Dwayne, you and I have something in common. Uh-oh. We both don't know how to work a damn mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> um, we both married very attractive foreign-born spouses. Your wife, she speaks French and German. No, English and German. My wife is Arab. She speaks French, English, Arabic, and domestic violence. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've been married for 18 years. Love you, baby. Love you, honey. We have an 11 year old son. The cool thing about being married to a foreign born spouse is that you don't have to speak her native language to know when she's cussing you out. Amen. <laughs> the vocal inflection tells it all. You know, folks, it's hard out here for drug dealers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, they're running out of places to hide their stash. Cops are finding bags of cocaine. In people's socks and shoes, they're finding syringes and rectums and used crack pipes in vaginas. Okay, forget CBS, there's a pharmacy in every orifice. I mean, a Florida guy was busted with baggies of cocaine and crystal meth wrapped around his junk. He told cops it was a new experimental drug he was trying out for his erectile dysfunction. <laughs> he called it icy hard. <laughs> and the guy who uh, got busted with the bags of cocaine in his shoes, he tried to throw his brother under the bus by saying the shoes belonged to him. His brother was like, he's lying, officer. Cocaine does not absorb foot odor. <laughs> now, as for the young lady who was hiding the used crack pipe up her hoo hoo hee hee. Well, she said she was storing it for a friend. The cop was like, okay, what else are you storing up in there, honey? Jimmy Hoffa? (laughs) What do you charge for a monthly storage fee? I mean, you know, since drugs now are so readily accessible, everybody is getting high, even our elderly community, okay? (laughs) Senior citizens are getting lit in South Dakota, at a senior citizen center, a bunch of seniors got hot off of some pot brownies. Okay? The brownies came in three flavors. Chocolate, blueberry, chronic, and kush. <laughs> I mean, and they loved them. One elderly woman said she hadn't felt that good since her husband died. I mean, it's crazy. Now, now the lady who brought the brownies, she, she didn't know that her son had made them with THC butter. Uh-huh. She took one bite and was like, I can't believe it's not crack. <laughs> <laughs> now, in his defense, her son, he actually made two batches of brownies, but his mom took the wrong one. Okay, The batch he prepared for her, he made with a laxative. So, uh, <laughs> you know, mistakes happen. <laughs> but this craziest thing is going, this craziest things are right now, you know what I'm really afraid of. Self checkout machines. They're, 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 not, they're nuts. I was at CVS. I was buying something. I scanned it, and the self checkout machine went crazy. Bells and whistles. This I, is an age restricted item. Please wait. Help is on the way. I was buying baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, everybody in the damn store is looking at me like I'm the one who screwed up the supply chain. <laughs> Yes, I use baby oil because it's cold outside and regular lotion doesn't do it for me, okay? My thighs chafe. Don't judge me. My elbows are so ashy I can start a bonfire. Parents are telling their kids, okay, kids, that guy's up to something. Run to the car and whatever you do, do not touch his inner thighs. <laughs> then the clerk, the CBS clerk comes and says, uh, Sir, um, you're buying baby oil. How old are you again? I'm like, you know what? I know what this is. <laughs> this is racial profiling. <laughs> BBOWB, buying baby oil while black. <laughs> That's what this is. See, look, 
As a black man, I have the same rights as everyone else. Life, liberty, and soft, shiny skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can all agree. Political correctness has just, got, just gotten out of control in our society. It's just crazy. It's so hard being a white guy in America. <laughs> <laughs> and I should know. I'm seriously, the city of Seattle, Washington had a racial sensitivity training where they were training all of their city employees to quote unquote, undo their whiteness. I'm like, what? Look, I'm going to say this right now, and I say this without any reservation or fear of the consequences. As a black man, I do not want white people to undo their whiteness, and here's why. I'm way too addicted to interracial porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. I'm just my